Hi, I'm Chris, creator of leatherhelp.com and at leatherhelpguy on Twitter. So a few days ago, I put out there the question, can I answer a few of your questions about leather conditioning, leather care, specifically you saddleback bag owners. Two questions I got back, how can you condition and how often should you condition your saddleback leather? And the other was about a little more elaboration on the ink removal process. So in this video, I'm gonna cover conditioning how often, what specifically applies to saddleback. All right, Chris here. First video is on how and how often to condition your saddleback leather. It's really actually pretty simple. First of all, you just want to apply the conditioner evenly to a cloth, not directly to the leather. And then you want to buff it in to a section evenly, one, section, one panel at a time. Don't focus too much on any one particular area, but go seam to seam, covering an entire area with a good amount of conditioner and then allowing it to soak in. How often should you do that normal conditioning process? That depends on the humidity in your area. If it's a hot, dry climate, you might want to condition four to six times a year. If it's a cooler, more moist climate, you don't need to do it as often, maybe two or three times a year. That's really all there is to it. To get a little more specific to leather, leather that saddleback, we do need to look at the four finishes of saddleback leather. As you go from more resistant to more absorbent, the way you condition changes a little bit. Now, what I just taught you, the condition and absorb method is gonna work for all four of these. But as you get closer, to the tobacco or the light tobacco, I suggest a second level of conditioning. Once a year, maybe once every other year, you get a product, this is my old beat up version, of a wax paste conditioner. Not just a liquid conditioner, but a wax paste conditioner. Um, I like Snow Seal or Aussie Leather Wax. Um, I think this one's Snow Seal. And in that case, you're going to take the conditioner like a paste and actually buff it into the leather. And this is more and more relevant for protecting the leather as you go from more resistant and protected to more unprotected. Now there is a caveat to that and I'll explain that as I finish up. But just know when you're dealing with the chestnut, it's not a bad idea yearly or so to put this wax conditioner on there and then the final step when the wax conditioning process is to take a hair dryer and just put it on the hot on the warmer setting and wave it over the leather to liquefy the wax a little bit and set it into the bag not very important here, a little bit more, a little bit more, and actually most protected here, but now let me get to the caveat. With the tobacco especially, if you choose a heavy wax-based conditioner, it will probably darken the leather, and it may not go lighter, even when it dries. So that's your decision. You have to decide if you want this patina, this darker look, or not. If you want it to be lighter, then I would probably just go with the liquid conditioner, applying that, as I suggested, four to six times a year. But if you want something that's a little more heavy, stronger conditioner, protector, but also will stay with the leather and darken it to some degree, then you're gonna wanna go with the wax conditioner. All right, that's pretty much it. 